Welcome back. Well, today we're going to start a three-part review on the new cigars from Dissident. The Rant, the Rave, and the Tirade. Three cigars in what Benjamin Holt is calling a small batch cigar, not limited edition, because he hopes to bring these back more frequently. Now, here is a picture of all three side by side. All different sizes and bitolas and wrappers and what have you. I want to review them all. Today I've chosen to go in reverse order. We're going to go with the tirade. Why? Simply because when they show up on the YouTube list or feed, when I'm finished with them, they will be in order because the newest review comes first. Rent, rave, and tirade. So the tirade gets the choice today. And here it is. Five and a half by 46. There is the density. And this cigar is uh, comprised of a San Andreas Mexican wrapper, Ecuadorian binder, and the filler is Nicaraguan and Dominican. Made, as all three are, at the Fabrica Oveja Negra factory, owned by Mr. James Brown, as you know. So that's sort of the long and the short of the tirade. So let's get right to it. The new dissident. Tirade. As you can expect with a Mexican San Andreas wrapper, it is very dark, but look how well made it is. That is a smooth wrapper. Look at it. Now it is not very oily. It's just sort of a dry um, San Andreas wrapper. What will that do? Ah, good draw. Good. Yeah. Initial flavors are pronounced orange citrus, orange citrus, brown sugar, a little cinnamon. I'm going in order that you taste it. Next, you'll get the dark chocolate, intense dark roasted black coffee, a very uh, dry nutmeg. Almost a paste, but it's a dry paste of a nutmeg. Black pepper at seven and a half to eight. Probably more on the seven and a half side. Uh, it's a very dark noted cigar with nice sweetness at this point. And it tastes very powerful. Matter of fact, I can go ahead and tell you, basically all of these cigars are very powerful. Even the Connecticut is not a wimpy uh, cigar. 
So that's how you start. So we need to see how we transition, but uh, a lot of nice dark roast coffee notes. And already, look at the ash. Look at the ash. It's white. White, white, white. It's pretty. All right. So let's see what we have by the first third. Here we are at the first third. Nice burn. Nice burn line. All right. The uh, orange citrus notes, if you go at the pace I am and don't even think of going any faster. This is a very slow burning cigar. It doesn't feel that dense, but it will, I found by having several of all the sizes, you have to go slowly. It won't burn evenly and you won't get even the best flavors out of it. It won't even come close. Right now you've got a, a more of the citrus notes coming out juicier citrus orange citrus brown sugar still there cinnamon the nutmeg is still there dark chocolate you is still there and it's sort of an unsweetened variety but there is much more of the dark roasted full-bodied black coffee it's very close to espresso but i'll call it a dark roast black coffee and it's a lot of it so you've got a lot of the citrus notes the others in there and a lot of black coffee full body that's that's only mess that's not even mixed words full body the finish is nutmeg And a touch of that citrus, you can get a, just a touch of it with nice lingering black pepper. Not over the top black lingering black pepper, but it's nice. But uh, the cigar is very nice. You've got some very nice sweet front end flavors in that orange citrus, pronounced orange citrus, and a lot of the uh, black coffee notes. Mm. But the first third, I'd rate it 94. Pretty easily, it's a 94. I mean, it's very good. And we got a good burn time out of it, 24 minutes to the first third out of an itty bitty, I say itty bitty, five and a half by 46. It's not a big cigar. So uh, take your time with it and you'll get these flavors. They're very good. So let's see what we have in the second third. In the second third. And things have changed a little bit. The nice, sweet orange citrus is now only an orange peel. Can you believe that? There is a decreased amount of brown sugar, cinnamon, yeah, love sprinkling. Nutmeg is elevated. The black coffee is elevated. And the unsweetened dark chocolate is just sort of there bridging between the nutmeg and the black coffee. That black coffee is quite elevated. The pepper is at least what it was. It may be sort of floundering upward. Finish is unchanged. The lingering black pepper is a little better. Now, the cigar did not really uh, change in a terribly bad way. But it did change and it did drop. But believe it or not, the flavors are still very good. Very, very good. And I'm only dropping it at 93. Because it's still very good. So it's not the end of the world. It is odd to go from straight orange citrus to orange peel. But the brown sugar gave it enough sweetness that it held its ground for the most part. So let's see what we have in the final third.
Well, we're down to the end, so let's wrap it up. Well, the sweet just bounced back a little bit. It got to be a citrus again, but it wasn't to the level of the first third. So I'm going to hold 93. It's still good, just not the first third good. The nutmeg is a little more pronounced. The black coffee is still pronounced. The dark chocolate is there, but it's not. It's in the lower levels of flavors because you get so much of the black coffee. Full-bodied, so nice full-bodied cigar. Finish is unchanged. It just hasn't changed. This is a good cigar. Powerful cigar. Dark cigar. This is the first of the three, so let's see how the rest stack up. But overall, this is a 93.33 cigar. In a short time frame, just about an hour, a little over. So, there you have it. The new Dissident Tirade. 93.33. <laughs>